Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. You're with Sambo, and joining us, as always, is Seraphis, our level 10 Pandaren monk. Say good day, Seraphis. Hello. Hello and hello to you guys watching along from home. Good to see you. And of course, if you joined us in the last episode, you'll know that we made our way all the way over to the west side of the Wandering Isle here. That's right, we've got this quest called Worthy of Passing. We got led over to this area where we're expected to defeat the Guardian of the Elders. And you might remember we ended off just up there at the top of the stairs. That's where the Guardian of the Elders is indeed waiting. But we've got a couple of things to do before we head up there and try our luck in that battle and the first thing we need to do of course is our shout outs and that means it's time for some caramel dancing that's right you go you good thing first one here is from Oster Prime and they say hey Sambo can I please get a shout out for my level 73 Tauren Druid on the Mugthol server you most certainly can level 73 Tauren I love me some Taurens big hello also to Indigo414 and they say hey Sambo I love your let's plays been watching your wow let's play for god only knows how long think my 85 dwarf warrior dracovar over in dark spear can get a shout out you most certainly can that would be awesome thank you very much well thank you very much for watching the show certainly hope you're enjoying it got another shout out here this one is from cody mosi hope i'm saying that right and they say hey there sambo my best friend is moving we both love your world of warcraft videos and we were hoping to get a shout out in the next WoW video. Our tunes are Kisly, a level 89 Blood Elf DK, and his is called Unumuru. I think I said that right. And that is a Blood Elf Hunter level 88. Gosh, you guys are nearly level 90. So all the best getting to the level cap, and I hope you're enjoying the mists of Pandaria. Got another one here, and this one is from Chubba Chups. And they say, hey Sambo, your WoW Let's Play has inspired me to get back into WoW. I'm glad to hear that. And could I please get a shout out for my recently unretired undead mage called Frosty? Frosty! You most certainly can. You know what? There's nothing like rocking an undead character in WoW. Oh, that brings back memories. Big hello to you there, Chubba Chups. Got another shout out here, and this one is from Devin Johnson. And they say, Hey Sambo, my name is Devin, and I want to let you know that I started playing WoW because of your videos. You are one of the best Let's Players I know, and I want to know if I can play. Please get a shout out in your next video for my level 80 night elf warrior named Shailita. Keep up your wonderful videos, Sambo. Well, thank you very much, Devin Johnson, and a big shout out to Shailita as well. Level 80, are you going to take it all the way to level 90? Have you got Mr. Pandaria? Let me know in the comments below. And finally, here we've got one more shout out, and this one is from Stratic Shock. And they say, hey, could I please have a shout out? I love your videos. I was wondering if you could do one for me. I hope you see this I'm a big fan I know you do a lot of shout outs like this and I was just wondering if I qualify for something like that it would mean a lot thanks and I hope you reply good luck to you and thanks for your time well no thank you very much for your time and of course you're more than welcome to have a shout out and a big hello to you there Stratic Shock and I hope you're enjoying the game and the Let's Play series and of course reminding you guys if you would like a shout out well you know the drill all you need to do is ask it is that simple. Now, not only have we done our shout outs, but we've got something else very important that we need to do now. Firstly, let's hop up the stairs here and there he is. That is the Guardian of the Elders that we need to defeat. You can see there, Guardian of Elders slain zero out of one. That's what we need to do to complete this quest. And he's got basically double the hit points that we've got. Ouch. 424 is us. 822 is him. Hmm. I hope he doesn't hit too hard. Otherwise, we're going to be in need of some healing. And of course, speaking of that, that means it's time to look at our specialization. In fact, if we go into our talents here, you can see we haven't chosen one. Now, I asked you guys last week, which one do you reckon I should go for? And a couple of you guys said tank. Nobody said wind. Oh, well, actually, one person said wind. Walker, and a lot of you guys said Mistweaver. And just to remind you guys, Brewmaster is the tank, Windwalker is DPS, and Mistweaver is healer. And of course, healing as a Mistweaver is very different to healing in other classes in well. This one is a melee healer, and it's very different to everybody else. So I have chosen, and we are going to go with Mistweaver, because I do like me some heals. Hooray. That's right. I thought you'd be very excited about that, Seraphis. And you know what? Just 
because it's so very different. It's not a casting based healer. And you can see here Soothing Mist and this one requires something called Serpent Stance and that heals the target for, well it's a hot over 8 seconds and we also get a chance to gain one chi as well. Level 42, 32 and 62 are when we get our new healing abilities so we'll worry about them later. But I'm assuming that we're going to get this Serpent Stance when we learn this specialization. So let's do exactly that. Are you sure you want to learn this specialization? You better believe it. There we go. And you can see here we've learned a new ability, Stance of the Wise Serpent, and that is it right there. So we're currently in Stance of the Fierce Tiger, which is a damage increasing stance. This here instead allows us to increase our healing done by 20%, and it replaces our energy resource with mana. And in fact, it's very weird because up the top here, you can see we've got energy and we've got mana. So it's like a dual resource bar. Again, nothing else like this in the game. It is very unusual. Not only that, but it grants hit and expertise equal to 50% of the spirit gained from items or effects. So it actually increases our expertise and our attack power is equal to 200% of our spell power, which is awesome, and we no longer benefit from other sources of attack power. In addition, we also gain eminence, and that basically causes us to heal the lowest health nearby target within 20 yards for an amount equal to 50% of non-auto attack damage that we deal. So it's quite a complex stance, but not only that, we get all these abilities as well. And in fact, hang on a minute, if we close this down, down now and we go into our spell book you can see we've got this here mist weaver this is new and these are the abilities that we have so we've already got the blackout kick that's down there on our hot bar already that's our roundhouse we've already got our jab that's always been there we've already had our roll we've already had stance of the fierce tiger but we've got this now the soothing mist so we're going to drag that down onto our hot bar we've got the stance which is new we'll put ourselves into that in just a minute we've got tiger palm which you guys know we've already got that and we've got all these passives here and this is the mana meditation and that is the mist weaver passive and that allows 50% of our mana regeneration from spirit to continue while we're in combat and of course that's very important while we're casting so there's a whole bunch of stuff that has come up there which is fantastic the first thing we're going to do though is we're going to change to this stance of the wise serpent and that's a healed there we go and you can hear the serpent there and you can see when we do that all we get are our healing abilities so for example if I want to there we go heal ourselves you can see it is a channeled heal it's very very different this is the first one that we get and we basically also get a chance you can see at the top here to generate chi but you can see our energy bar has been replaced by our mana bar so very weird so we're going to be switching between the stance of the wise serpent when we need to heal because it gives us such a big boost and this one here which of course is our normal fighting stance now if we go into our specialization and talents you can see it's a lot different than it used to be laid out there is no tree yet that's just how it works so we have to wait until we level up some more until we can start really customizing our actual tree all right so there we go we are now Seraphis the Mistwalker the Pandaren Mistwalker monk which is awesome and we now have our extra stance there it is, but of course we're not going to use that on this guy. We need to go back into our DPS stance, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's rip into it, folks. Let's see if we can take down this Guardian of the Elders. So I'm trying to build up my Chi at the moment. And once we've got enough of them, there we go, we can do our Blackout Kick. Once we've got four Chi. Ooh, a big knockback there. Now we may need to use our healing ability. And once we get down to 50%, I'm going to automatically do that. So if we get to about 200 hit points or less, that's a trigger for me to use our heals. And there we go. Guardian of the Elders is indeed slain. And you can see we need to carry on now. Speak to Master Shang Zi in the Wood of Staves. And he's up ahead of us here. So this is all new area for us. And hopefully we'll get a discovery. There we go. Discovered the Wood of Staves. And in fact, if we have a look at our map, you can see we've almost unlocked the entire island now. All we've got is this southern region to unlock. So we've done the north. We've done the east. We've done the southeast. We're now doing the west. And this is the latest area for us to be in on this island, which, of course, as you know, is a great big wandering toidle. That's right. It's a toidle. But this is a very different themed area. It's very lush. Very cool looking, bit misty. Let's have a chat to Master Shang-Zi, see if he's impressed with us for taking down that guardian. 
My time is passing, but your time approaches swiftly. Worthy of passing. I do not have the strength of body or will that I once did. I'm glad there are noble Pandaren like you to fight on for our people. You have come far, Seraphis. It is good to see you, my son. It is indeed. Now, do you know what? We got a whole bunch of XP there, which was very cool. And we got our Shangzi Academy reputation increased as well. And that's very important because we want to build that up as quickly as possible. Here we go. A couple of new quests. Things that are done, it is needless to speak about. Things that are passed, it is needless to blame. So some sage words of advice from the master right there. Unwelcome nature. You faced forest sprites in the Dawning Valley. Oh, I remember those. But the forest sprites in this grove are a different breed. Cruel and more dangerous. If you would clear some of these sprites out, the spirits would thank you. Oh, I think we can do that. Eight thorn Where branch scamps. That's what we need to take down. Honor. Small but significant is this quest. I am tired, Seraphis. I must rest. We have a ritual to perform, but we require some of the charms from this grove. If you wander the grove, you should see them all over hanging from the trees. If it does not offend one as young as you, will you permit me to sit and recover my strength? strength while you gather these charms. I'm sure we can do that for you, Master Shang Zi. And we need to retrieve eight Kun Pai ritual charms. So if we have a look on our map, you can see basically to the north and to the south is where we need to go. And in fact, there are the charms already. They're glowing there on the side of the tree. So we'll definitely grab that. Oh, look at that. There's a balloon over there. Let's grab one of these charms first. And let's have a look in our bag. There we go. Kun Pai Ritual Charm. As you pull your hand away from the stone, it feels as though your spirit is sticking to it for a moment. Ooh, okay, it's a bit spiritual, isn't it? Very cool. Look down there. What do we got down there? Ancient Spirit of Earth. We've got the Ancient Spirit of Water. We've got Aesir Cloud Sing. Mm, I've got a funny feeling we're going to get directed down there just a little bit later on. So it's a little bit early for us to be there right now. All right, so what our tasks are right now is to grab these charms that are hanging from the trees so we'll do that there we go two of eight and it's nice that they sort of clump them together in a cluster oh there's some thorn branch scamps now they're a new type of mob that we haven't seen before so let's dig into these guys all right so yeah look they're level eight we're level 10 so it's not too much of a struggle Oh man, look at it. Look at them, there's heaps of them down there. In fact, we could go for a bit of a wander down there. I think I saw another charm around here somewhere though. Oh, maybe it despawned. We'll head over into this area near this temple. I'd imagine that there's some scamps. Yep, there we go. And there's some charms over here as well. All right, both of the things that we need. Oh, he's trying to get behind me there. Little cheeky bugger. Oh, and he's called two of his mates. Well, that's not very cricket. All right, that's okay. Again, just keeping an eye on our health, and it's not so bad if we get down to... Oh, no, they died. Okay, maybe they were just sort of apparitions or illusions or something like that. I'm not sure. All right, Thorn Branch Scamp. That's what we're after. Yikes. Now, I've just noticed something as well. And that is that our heal here is only available in Serpent Stance. So, yeah, there's no point actually putting it on the hot bar here because you need to be in our healing stance in order to use it. I cannot so, that. Yep, thank you. So I'm going to drag that away and I'm just going to switch back for a moment. And there we go. Yep. All right. So we need to be in that stance. Very interesting. We'll just interrupt that. That is channeled. There we go. Back to our DPS. And we're back in the Wood of Staves, of course. All right, that looks like it is five out of eight. And we've got four out of eight of the little scamps that have been taken down. Let's grab a couple more of these charms. Seven. And we just need to find one more nice and easy. Now, what's that over there? Oh, a copper vein. And there's another charm as well. This is all perfectly working out. Now, we like our copper, of course. That means straight to the auction house once we get to a major city that actually allows us to have something in terms of an auction house at our avail. Because, of course, we haven't come near one any time recently. All right. So what are we looking for? We're after four more of the scamps. And we're done with the charms. Let's see if we can just jump down here. Take a bit of a hit to our health. Uh, but a flesh wound. 
Oh, they keep, look at this, this is annoying, isn't it? Mind you, they're very, very tiny. Look, they've only got 31 health. So they're just little sort of guardians, I guess, summon guardians. And they just take one hit to kill the little add-ons there. Come on, come and get me. Yeah, they only, in fact, take one punch. That's about it. And again, keeping an eye on our health. Oh, gosh, they like summoning these, don't they? All right, we definitely need to do a bit of channeling healing. Wow, we are really getting pummeled there. All right, time to go to town on these guys. Not do that. Roundhouse kick ought to finish them off. And this guy is a normal one, so he's got his full 312 health. Oh god, not more! What? This is ridiculous! Alright, I definitely need a heal now. Alright, thank goodness we actually went Mist Weaver, I'll tell you that much. Wow. Alright, let's loot all these. Fantastic. And of course, the good old AOE looting that happens now in World of Warcraft is just so very handy. Alright, we're going to have to go around the long way, I think. Can we change stances? Yes, while we're running. So you can do that on the move, which is really, really good. Alright, back we go to Master Sheng Z to hand in the Wood of the Staves quests that we've just picked up. That was nice and simple. But again, glad we had the healing. Good lord. Oh, and we've made more friends. Rightio. Okay. All right, there we go. XP's XP, I guess. Our greatest trials yet lay before us. Unwelcome nature. The spirits, thank you, monk. Complete the quest, nice and easy. Okay, XP injuries. and rep. And there we go. Small but significant. Rest feels good. The burdens of life have become a great weight after so many years. Here we go, you came through as you always have. You are truly one of my greatest students. I think you will be something the likes of which the world has never seen. You better believe it. There we go, passing wisdom is the next quest. This journey shall soon be yours to undertake without me. Stay for a few moments and listen to an old man's words. Let my knowledge serve you as a foundation for yours that you might be greater than I ever was. Listen to Master Shang Zi. Well, this is going to be very interesting you can see here we get ourselves the ropes of grieving and that's a whole plus six armor better than the current belt that we have at the moment and of course we're going to get xp and silver let's see what he's got to say for three thousand years we have passed the knowledge of our people down elder to youth master to student Every elder reaches the day when he must pass on and plant his stave with the staves of his ancestors. Today is the day when my staff joins these woods. Our people have lived the whole of their lives on this great turtle, Shen Zin Su. But not in hundreds of years has anyone spoken to him. Now Shenzin Su is ill, and we are all in danger. With the help of the elements, you will break the silence. You will speak to him. Asa and Ji have retrieved the spirits and brought them here. You are to go with them. Speak to the great Shenzin Su and do what must be done to save our people. You've come far, my young student. I see within you a great hero. I leave the fate of this land to you. Wow. Well, you know what? I'm just a little bit lost for words. I mean, he's been our guiding light, I guess, Master Shang Zi. Been our guiding light throughout the entire journey here on this island and now now he's gone it's just a little bit weird don't you think i mean he's actually passed on the torch i guess to us this is why and i don't know if you guys remember 
when we were talking about the law of the Mr. Pandaria and in fact this very island over on the span a couple of episodes ago we got a whole bunch of information from one of the law masters they were talking about this the wood of the staves and in fact the staves here and all the trees are basically the past masters and we have now just witnessed Master Sheng Zi I think unless I'm wrong actually pass his stave I guess on and pass the mantle over to us that's wow that's amazing do you know what I think we should do I think we should kneel in respect here we go let's do a kneel there we go a little bit of respect for master Shang Z how is that folks that was amazing all right well I guess we should honor his wishes and that means that we need to keep going on and passing on our wisdom that we've learned now and we need to go speak with Asa Cloud Singer in the Wood of the Staves and of course that's where we were looking down before and we're going to unlock all of these secrets of the Wandering Isle here but look this is why we gathered all of the spirits throughout our journey here on the Wandering Isle we've still got a bit of it to go yet but there we go there's Shu the Ancient Spirit of Water and look at that Asa and I can hang out here you know just the two of do us? not listen to him we've got work to do all right so you can hear Asa and G saying we're ready to go whenever you are or we can hang around of course we want to get going but look at this folks I mean I'm not gonna jump down there because I don't think I can get back up but basically if I click on that it is showing us that it is Shen Zin Su itself that there I think is the head of the turtle and in fact you can see in the tooltip down here it says that it's a level question mark boss so yeah that is actually him that is his head we're riding on his crest if you like as we're traveling across the ocean that there is indeed his head and you can see his flippers around the side it is pretty amazing when you think about it all right well let's go and have a chat to our buddies over here who have also basically accompanied us throughout this whole journey g'day there g firepaw and most importantly hello to asa cloud singer just seeing if there's anything else down there nope all right let's have a chat to her see what she's got to say hello friend passing wisdom <sighs> i know seraphis i know such is the way of things and of course she's talking about the passing of master sheng zi bit emotional isn't it there we go the ropes of grieving are what we get out of this and there they go in fact let's equip them straight away that's why of course they're called the ropes of grieving because we're basically grieving master Shen Zi's passing so we'll definitely wear that one with a great deal of pride all right so here we go the suffering of Shen Zin Su now is not the time to grieve the balloon is ready and Shen Zin Su awaits we shall be the first Pandarans to speak to Shen Zin Su in hundreds of years it is a great honor and you can see what we have to do here is board the hot air balloon and speak to Shen Zin Su himself so this is a pretty big moment folks it's kind of been leading up to this all of our questing all of our gathering of the spirits up until this point so I say without further ado let's do Happy. just that that's exactly what we're going to do and in fact you can see there as I hover over this little post here it says that it's Shang Zi's hot air balloon we will hop right in indeed where's Master Shang? Gee they were in the wood of staves you know where Master Shang is now oh, let a Pandoran hope would you I'm going to miss the old man very Be cool respectful when we speak to Shenzhen Su when am I not respectful you hurt me Asa I might if you embarrass us sounds like G's a bit of a wild card if you ask me all right you can see we're coming up on the head of Sheng Zin Su. There we go, you can Shen definitely Zin see Su. it now. We are the descendants of Lu Lang. We've sensed your pain and we want to help. What ails you, Shen Zin Su? What can we do? I am in pain, but it warms my heart that Lu Lang's grandchildren have not forgotten me. There is a thorn in my side. I... I cannot remove it. The pain is unbearable. And I can no longer swim straight. Please grant 
grandchildren. Can you remove this thorn? I cannot do so on my own. Of course, Shenzhen Su. But your shell is large, and I do not know where this thorn could be. It is in the forest, where your feet do not walk. Continue along the mountains, and you will find it. We will find it, and we will remove it. You have our word. Thank you, grandchildren. A thorn? Mm. I left my tweezers at home. How could such a thing cause pain to something so large? We will know soon enough. Wow. Okay, that is pretty amazing. I hope you guys get an idea Are of the you scale now. What I'm seeing? Is that a boat? It is a boat. A whole airship. That's a bigger thorn than I was expecting. Those aren't Pandoran down there. They've got no fur. Someone has crashed into our island. Removing this thorn may be more complicated than we thought. We should let Elder Shaopai know, and then plan our next move. Wow. Okay, I just, that is amazing. I'm sure you guys will agree. That was fairly epic. I mean, you just got to see the entire island is in fact Shangzin Su, and it's a great big turtle. And now we've had an, like a skyship, an actual airship has crashed. And you can see that it crashed. That's the thorn in his side that he was talking about. And it looked to me, I just couldn't quite see from up so high, but it looked to me like there were undead running around down there, which is interesting because, yeah, what are they doing here? What are they doing here? And in fact, where are we now? Let's have a look. Back on the map, you can see we've actually come all the way around here. This is where we started off. There's the head, and this area down here was covered up. And now it's been uncovered as we flew over the top of it. We've got the wreck of the Sky Seeker. That is the airship that has crashed. We've got the Pool of the Poor up there, and we've got the Pei Wu Forest. And all of those are new areas that no doubt we're going to have to go down into and sort out what on earth is going on, why that airship crashed there, and Lord only knows what other mysteries are here for us to try and solve. Good Lord, it is getting very, very interesting. But you know what? We've completely run out of time for this episode, so you guys are going to have to wait till the next one to find out what happens in this epic journey here on the Wandering Isle when we have to go and speak to Elder Xiao Pai in the Temple of the Five Dawns behind us. So in the meantime, on behalf of myself, Asambo, and of course, our wonderful Level 10 Pandaren Monk, the Mistweaver Seraphis, it's us saying take care. Hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then and bye-bye. Never stop.